good morning it's like almost 4 a.m on monday the 13th of january today nick and i are off to melbourne thank you no my how you my and a very warm welcome to melbourne everyone we do hope you enjoyed your flight with us this morning from your wellington based team thanks for flying air new zealand on the star alliance network Take care, we look forward to seeing you again soon. We have made it to Melbourne. It has just gone 10.30 uh, in the morning and we have already been able to check into our hotel, which is awesome. We're staying in a place called Zagami's House, which I think is how the bus driver said it was said. Um, but yeah, it's up in Carlton area. It's a really nice room. The hotel looks really cool. We have uh, quickly just unpacked a little bit, refreshed, uh, changed outfits because it's a lot warmer here than it was back in rainy old cold Wellington. My best friend Hannah is also coming to Melbourne to uh, see us while we're over here on this trip. So she arrives tomorrow. So I think today we're going to try and do a little bit of walking around, maybe a little bit of shopping, go to Ikea as well because obviously we don't have Ikea in New Zealand so that's always like a novelty to get to go to an Ikea. And I think actually I can say it now because by the time you see this video I would have already announced it but uh, I'm pregnant, hooray! So I want to go to Ikea and see if there's any like cute little baby things or things that we can get for the baby's room and then I also want to go and do some shopping because all of my pants are a little bit tight right now. First stop though is to go and get some food and then I think we're going to go uh, walk into the city centre and check out some of the street art. <laughs> most successful shopping day today. We came back to our room about three o'clock and when we got back to our room we had this lovely bottle of wine waiting for us from the hotel because when we checked in the lady was asking us um, like what were we doing in Melbourne and we mentioned that we were here for our anniversary so they wrote us a really lovely little note and gave us that bottle of wine um, Obviously when we checked in I didn't mention that I was pregnant but uh, Nick and then my friend Hannah and then her mum Adele can enjoy that wine tomorrow night. Now I don't know what the time is but I feel like it's like 5.30 or almost 6 o'clock and we are going to go for a walk to Carlton Gardens which is like just up the road from where we're staying and then I think just over in Fitzroy there is a Bell's hot chicken place that I've been told that we have to check out. Me being the typical Wellingtonian was like oh it's going to get colder in the evening so I'll put jeans on so that I don't get cold. Meanwhile it's actually gone hotter it is currently 33 degrees. Of course the chicken place was closed because they were having their annual Christmas party so we ended up just having ice cream for dinner but now it is Tuesday it is 8 30 in the morning and we are walking to a place called Seven Seeds to go and get some breakfast. for a walk through the Queen Victoria markets and then we did a little bit more wandering before making our way over to Stomping Ground Brewery which was like the coolest brewery it had so many plants inside and it was definitely like my vibe obviously I didn't drink anything but um, Nick had like a good tasting platter and then from there we walked back to a hotel which is about half an hour but about halfway through that walk back um, we stopped by that Bell's chicken place which we tried to go for dinner last night so we had a quick little like late lunch there. Now I don't know what the time is I think it's like almost two o'clock or just gone two um, and we have just come back to the room to chill out literally with the aircon going because it's so hot outside um, until Hannah and her mum Adele make their way um, to their accommodation which is like just around the corner from us so probably gonna chill here for about an hour and then go and see them. All right it's a bit later on in the day and I'm here with Hannah. Hey. We just went and had a uh, drink at a bar and had a few little snacks. Hannah and I I think lately we've been pretty good at seeing each other like this time we've seen each other last year but sometimes it's been like a good like 18 months or whatever so since we've seen each other but we've had a good catch up and I've been dying to see Hannah because I've been dying to tell her that I'm pregnant. I feel like this video is turning into a little bit of a fail. It is currently Thursday so it's our last day in Melbourne. We head home this afternoon and I didn't really do much vlogging yesterday. I can't even remember what we did. We had breakfast here at the hotel with Hannah and Adele and then we went to St Kilda Beach which I think I thought was going to be more like uh, like Venice Beach in 
LA or just like another popular beach but apparently Brighton Beach which is a bit further along is the one that's like has a bit more going on but it was still nice to like see the beach it was a really hot day we had a couple of drinks there went around a few shops um and then we came back into town for lunch and then we just headed back to the hotel because it was getting to be like 37 degrees and we were all just like a little bit hot and bothered. We kind of just chilled out for a couple of hours. I had a nap and while I was napping the weather completely turned and it went from like 37 degrees to 22 degrees which is still warm but it's still like quite a massive temperature drop and it started thunderstorming and it was like pouring with rain which is definitely a good thing because it like reduces the smog levels uh, here in Melbourne and hopefully if it's raining where the fires are it's like helping the people that are currently like really struggling with the fires. We went for a place called Trunk for dinner which was a diner. Um, I think I vlogged the menu but I don't even think I vlogged what I had. I ended up having some like mac and cheese uh, balls and then some fries with gravy so not exactly the healthiest dinner but it was pretty good. Um, and then we ended up just coming back to our room because none of us or neither of us were prepared for like the weather to be super bad like we didn't have like rain jackets or anything like that so Nick and I ended up just watching a movie and having an early night. The weather is looking pretty grey today and it does say that it potentially will rain later on today so I'm not too sure what we're going to do today. We're about to meet up with Hannah and Adele and go out for breakfast so I guess we will probably decide on the plan there. Normally when Nick and I go on trips I like to have like a full itinerary planned at least of just like stuff in the same area that we'd want to do so if we're going to be in like one area one day we can like do a bunch of things that are around that area then the next day we can do this stuff so it means that we're not like having to spend a lot of time on public transport or like paying for Ubers and stuff to get around to a bunch of different places but this trip I feel like I have been so disorganized and it's really shown with the fact that we haven't really done much while we're here. I've had a really good time while we're here don't get me wrong we've like seen a bunch of cool things it's been really lovely catching up with Hannah again um, and we've eaten in a lot of really delicious places but other than that like I wasn't really sure what else there was to do in Melbourne other than stuff that centers around either like shopping or like eating and drinking which obviously I can't drink at the moment. See so yeah, apologies if this video is a little bit boring if you're watching this video looking for like tips on what to do in Melbourne I'm sure you'll probably find better videos than mine but if you are watching I hope you're enjoying all the same and let's get our last day started. Mm -hmm. 